Hey guys, it's Andrea with Sucks For You and Begonias too, I guess. <laughs> um, so, I saw a nursery posted kind of what they have in stock this week and they're right down the road for me. I saw it yesterday and I woke up thinking about it because they mentioned they had Begonias and I looked around and ran, well, I, I was waiting until I could finally get out of the house and I hauled butt over to the store and I looked around I didn't really see anything at first and then I looked down and this guy was at my feet and I just fell in love um like literally you know when you get a plant and you're like oh man it's so big or something there's just something about it that's just like not going to be like very practical but you're just like I if I leave this store without it I'm I'm just going to turn around and come back and get it. <laughs> so I just went ahead and got it. And look at this beast. I believe it is Begonia Kachuma. C-A-C-H-U-M-A. It wasn't labeled. But it's massive. And it's like... Look at this. These are the stems. They're like... Out of this world. So crazy. Oh. And then... Even on, like, I just keep noticing stuff about it. Even on the back side, it's got these cool little hairs. And and then on the tops, there's, like, little white. You kind of can't see them very well. Little white hairs sticking up. And in the sun, it's, like, glowing. <sighs> but it's still January, which means we could have another freeze. And I, I was just like, I don't know if I should do this. Ah! But it was, like, 20 bucks, and it's massive. And... The the nursery workers, they were like, yeah, just get it. <laughs> they know me. They know I will just, like, turn back around and come back. So we got it. We got ourselves a new begonia. And I love it. And I've got, like, if you can tell, like, I'm kind of, like, i got a rush. I'm, like, kind of on an endorphin high right now. <laughs> and I had, like, some others that I really wanted. And I did get another one. But there's another one that I wanted. But they're all, like, 20 bucks each. And I just kind of don't want to throw down that much in one day, at least right now, on a plant. So I'll probably go back tomorrow. I'll show you the other one I got too. One sec. That's the other one. It's a Maltese cross and it's so cool. And you just you kind of have to see these in person. Like, look at the texture. It looks like bubble wrap from outer space or something it looks like you can like just they're they're all it's all raised up and it's got all these cool little oh you can't really see i wish you could see it in person you're just gonna have to get one of these for yourself that's all there is to it look at that it is so cool hold up Let's see if we can whoa Begonia Maltese cross. I mean, I love succulents, so get me wrong. Like, I really, really, really do. But begonias just are like, they're all so crazy and unique, and they have pretty similar care tips. And so there's not, it's just kind of like, just buy it and go. Once you, once you figured out how to like take care of them, they're, they're pretty easy going. They're not super thirsty. They do fit in pretty well with a succulent collection. And, um, the, the nursery I got them from, if you're in the Houston area, it's called Another Place in Time in the Heights. And, like, this is another begonia I got from them. It's just doing fantastic. Absolutely gorgeous. And uh, you can't tell in person, but these, these leaves are, like, they're metallic and shiny. And they have tons of little details on them. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, like, shaking. I'm so excited. <laughs> And let's see. This one is kind of not doing that great, and it's probably my fault. It, it is my fault. It was magnificent when I got it. But um, maybe just some, like, fertilizer or something. I don't know. More room to spread out, but it's still really pretty. But, yeah, that's, that's what I did today. Hi, puppies. can't believe I almost left the store without this. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Oh, so cool.